Welcome to this AliCAD User Guide Tutorial 3 on more advanced drawings. In this tutorial, we will discuss the parallel copy function. This function allows you to create one or more parallel lines from an existing entity by either a distance or through a specified point. If you've not already done so, check out our other tutorials. To begin with, we'll set up our paper size and scale. Select Settings, Drawing Settings, and change the paper size to A3, and the scale to 1 is to 1 millimeters. We need to draw something to parallel copy. Select Draw, Chain Line. Press the U key on the keyboard, and you'll be prompted to enter the coordinates. Type minus 150 into the X coordinate box, use the Tab key to jump to the Y coordinate box, and type 60 in the Y coordinate box. Press Enter and the cursor moves to the inputted coordinates and the first point is entered. Press the right arrow and move right 80. Enter once to move to the position and a second time to lock the cursor in the position. Press the down arrow and move down 120. Press enter once to move to the position and a second time to lock the cursor in the position. Press the left arrow and the measurement is remembered. We want to move left 80. Enter twice to move to the position and lock the cursor in the position. Press the up arrow and again the measurement is remembered. Enter once to move to the position and a second time to lock the cursor in the position. Right click and select quit. We'll now draw a rectangle. Select draw, rectangle and press the U key on the keyboard. You'll be prompted to enter the coordinates. Type 70 into the X coordinate box. Press the Tab key to move to the Y coordinate box and type 60. Press Enter and the cursor moves to the inputted coordinates. Press Enter to insert the first point. Press the right arrow and move right 80. Enter once to move to the position. Press the down arrow and move down 120. Enter once to move to the position and a second time to lock the cursor in the position. Right click and select Quit. We will now change the pen colour. We can select any pen colour out of our pen palette that you require. And our line style. You'll notice that the pen colour and line style have changed. Select Draw, Parallel Copy. Select to draw by the distance and not through a point. Set the distance to 10 and the number of lines to 1. Do not select any of the other options and click on the Done icon. Click on the top horizontal line of the left hand rectangle and then on the right vertical line. You'll notice that the segments are drawn. Click on the right hand rectangle and you'll see that the entire entity is drawn. This is because it is a lightweight polyline. Click Undo to remove these lines. Check the Trim checkbox. Click on the outside of the left rectangle and you will see that the parallel lines are added and the lines are trimmed. Click Undo to undo these lines. Now increase the number of lines to 2 and you will see that the Trim option is greyed out and no longer available. This time we will check the Copy Properties checkbox. Click on the outside of the left hand rectangle and the outside of the right hand rectangle. You will see that the properties being copied are not the same as the properties in your drawing that you have set up. They are the properties of the entity being copied. Click Undo to remove these lines. Uncheck the Copy Properties option and check the Segment Copy option and click on the Done icon. Click on the right hand rectangle and you will see that only the segments of the polyline are copied. Click Undo to remove these lines. Finally, select to copy bar through a point. You will see that the distance measurement box is now greyed out and can no longer be used. Select the entity to be copied and then the point through which you would like it to pass. You will see that the entities are all evenly spaced the distance that you have stipulated. Right click and select quit. 
Thank you for watching this tutorial. Look out for our next tutorial and visit our website to find out more about Alicad.